Hey guys, the Black Critic Guy, and something very interesting fell on my lap this morning that I could not pass up the opportunity to make a video talking about it. So one of my subscribers by name of Michael Miles tweeted me a video from Netflix where they say, shall we begin? Hashtag Death Note. So this is the first teaser trailer for the American remake of the anime classic Death Note. Now I'm going to save all my opinions about this whole idea of remaking Death Note until after I see the teaser trailer and kind of see what they're trying to go for with this American remake. Now I haven't seen this yet, so this is going to be a live reaction to the teaser trailer. So enough talk, let's get to it, shall we? Alright, and go. There's the notebook falling, okay. So far, so good. Netflix original film. Oh, so it's in Seattle. Okay, interesting. Why, why is there so, why is there subtitles? <laughs> August 25th, huh? Okay, so, um, that was it. It was only 56 seconds, so, but th there's a lot to, there's a lot of dissect here. Uh, hold on, I, I'm gonna play the video one more time, but I'm gonna do it, like, in bits and pieces, so. So we have the notebook falling, which is, it falls, that's shot for shot, like in the original, but he, instead of, instead of light, which his name is Light, by the way. His name is Light Turner. Uh, the, I, I do kind of like that they changed the name. Because if his name was Light Yagami and he was a white guy from Seattle, then I would have, I, I would have a problem. But since this is the American remake, they did Americanize the names. So now he's Light Turner. Um, in the original, Light actually sees the notebook falling from inside the classroom. And then when they get out of class, he goes outside. Here... He basically just sees it falling literally from the sky. And then he picks it up. Okay, keep going. And oh, Death Note. And it's all, it's actually quite worn out. It, you see the little smudges on it. So it's been used a lot. I, you know what would be interesting if, oh no, they can't because his name is Light 2. I was going to say, what if this was the same notebook that Light Yagami used, and this is like many years into the future, and now he's now, he's the new possessor of the Death Note, the original Death Note that Light used. Okay, so let's keep going. Some shots in the hallway. There's the apple that Ryuk eats. Uh -huh. And so this film apparently is going to be taking place in Seattle. Isn't that the Seattle Eye right there? That is the Seattle Eye. Or I could be wrong. This could be somewhere else. But hey, tell me if I'm right or wrong. It looks like the Seattle Eye to me. And it looks like Seattle. I see the mountains in the distance. It just feels like Seattle. It would make sense. Seattle is such a dreary place. I think it would definitely fit the overall tone of the film. All right, so we see these three cheerleaders. One of them is smoking. Is that supposed to be Misa? I hope not. Misa is supposed to be more lighthearted and bubbly. This girl is like, I don't give a fuck. I'm smoking this cigarette. <laughs> oh, and here's a shot of L dressed up like a Muslim for some reason. In some type of red, neon red room. I, I actually have a lot to say about um, L in this remake. And the casting of Lakeith Jackson. Or Keith Jackson as he's being called for this film. So keep going. Based on the international phenomenon. Yes. Why is there subtitles by the way? You don't need subtitles if they're speaking in English, no? It's, that's, I just find that kind of weird. So here he is. He's testing the notebook. And this actually, this shot reminds me a lot of many shots from the original anime. 
where guys just walk off rooftops. Okay, so now I want to talk about this particular shot where we see a black hooded figure, most likely L, considering the previous shot that we saw him in where he was decked out in all black in a neon red room. And what is this shot? A character in all black in a neon red room. So it's safe to assume this is the same location and that is in fact L. And it looks like he is investigating what is now a crime scene, a murder scene. And on the wall, it says Justice of Kira. So these men were killed by Kira. My issue with this scene is the use of Kira. Now, for those of you who don't know, Kira is Japanese for killer. And it made sense why Light Yagami would name himself Kira because he's Japanese. He lives in Japan, so he wants to give himself a Japanese name for his new persona. This new character, Light Turner, lives in Seattle. He lives in America. Unless he's an uber fan of Japanese culture or knows the Japanese language, I don't understand why he would use the name Kira. I just feel like that's just a little, um, not a little Easter egg, but like a little callback to the original. Like, oh, his name is Kira too. But for me, you went out of your way to change the character's name to like Turner. Why not also change the Kira name? I mean, I know it's iconic, you know, Kira. Oh my God, he's this big killer who, you know, he shoots out justice and kills a bunch of criminals. But again, to have an American person name himself Kira is just kind of weird. It's like, it's like a Spanish person naming himself after an African tribe. It just doesn't make any sense. But I mean, that, maybe that's a nitpick. Maybe they'll explain it. But for me, I don't think they should have went with Kira. They should have Americanized it. I know kill, you know what would have been interesting? <laughs> Justice of Killa. And instead of ER, just put an A, Justice of Killa. Now that would be, I think, suitable. It'd be interesting, but again, that's just me going on a ramble. Okay, let's continue. Okay, there's... Is that supposed to be Misa? That girl that we just saw. Back up a little bit. This girl right here. Is this supposed to be Misa Amane? Or I guess it's not going to be Misa Amane. It's, it's probably going to be a different character. I'll probably look her up later on, but I'm guessing this is his love interest. And Wait, isn't that the cheerleader? I think that's the cheerleader. So that's his love interest, and he's running from the cops. Uh, and that last shot on the Ferris wheel, um, is that in England? Because for those of you who don't know, L is from England, and that looks like, oh no, it's not, it's not the, the London Eye. So it looks like that's Light Turner, and I'm guessing that's Misa, his girlfriend. Death Note. And then the best shot in the entire trailer. Shall we begin? You don't see, you don't see Ryuk. Begin. And oh my god, Willem Dafoe was a perfect choice for Ryuk. I gotta say, I like the casting of Willem Dafoe as Ryuk. He has the voice for Ryuk. My problem, my, my issue is, is his name going to be Ryuk? Oh, you know what? Actually, no, I'm, I'm not going to make a big deal about Ryuk. You know, that, you can make an argument that that's a Japanese name, but I like Ryuk. It's iconic. And I like the fact that they don't show Ryuk in the trailer. They just show his eyes and you hear his voice. That's enough. That's a good enough tease for me. Now, in looking at the IMDb uh, page for Death Note... I was looking to see whether or not his name was going to be Light Yagami. And like I said, his name is Light Turner. And I think the girlfriend is played by Margaret Qualley. And her name is Mia Sutton. Sutton. Mia Sutton. Uh, James Turner. I'm guessing uh, James Turner, that's his police officer dad. Uh, the head of the chief of police. Um... So yeah, okay, so let's let's talk about my feelings about them remaking Death Note. I don't like it. I don't like the fact that they're remaking Death Note. I'd rather they just leave it alone, but that's just a that's coming from somebody who's a fan of the original and just doesn't like seeing things be remade, especially so soon. It's it's being remade literally ten years after the anime first premiered. Or I guess ended, because it premiered in 2006, I believe. Um so yeah, I'm not a big fan of them remaking it. But I will say, from what I'm seeing from this trailer, 
it actually looks promising. It looks like they're going to stay true to the original, but updating it for an American audience. I like the fact that they changed the name. If they're going to remake it and cast a white guy in the role, change the goddamn name. So his name is now White Turner. I personally would have liked him to still be Asian. You know, he could live in California or Seattle. Seattle and California have big Asian populations. I can believe that an Asian kid found the Death Note. Just That's just coming from me. Uh, as for Lakeith Stanfield as L. Now, if I'm correct, isn't L from England? He's from England. So, I personally felt like if there was ever a time where I would be okay with them casting a white man or a white guy in a role for an anime show or an anime series, and I feel like it's justified, it would be in this case. If they casted a white guy to play L, I'd be like, well, that makes sense. L is from England. He's not Japanese. And the same would go for, like, Full Metal Alchemist. If they casted a bunch of white people, I'm like, well, it takes place in a European-like area. So, yeah, it makes sense. Um, them casting Lakeith Jackson as L, a black guy playing what was a white character from England, that's another... It's, it's, a, it's a different type of whitewashing. It's more like blackwashing. But I really like Lakeith Stanfield. I think he's a very promising talent. I loved him in At Atlanta. I loved him in Straight Out Compton. I loved him in Get Out. And I like that he's got a lead role in a film, finally. You know, he's been playing basically supporting roles, very small supporting roles in TV shows and movies. Now here he is in a big film in a big lead role. I'm excited. I'm happy for Lakeith Jackson. Or, not, I keep saying Jackson. Lakeith Stanfield is his name. I apologize, Lakeith, if you're watching this, which you're not. Um, that's really all I have to say about this. Um, it looks promising. It really does. I definitely will give it a watch. Um, I like that they Americanized it. Because if it just took place in Japan and it was a white guy that found the notebook, that would have pissed me off. They're not doing the the Ghost in the Shell thing where it's like Neo Tokyo and here's a white lead and a bunch of white people. This is actually set in Seattle, at, at least from what the shots showed us. So it takes place in America. It doesn't take place in Japan. And since they are adapting it and changing it a bit, I, I can understand the changes that they did. You know, this is an American adaptation of the light novel, or of, not the light novel, of the manga and the anime series. It's kind of like what Mark Scorsese did with The Departed. You know, The Departed was based off of a Chinese film and they just adapted it to fit an American audience. So if they're going to go the Departed route, I think I can be okay with this. Uh, I'm excited to see how it will turn out. It, again, from what I've seen so far, it looks serviceable. There's a couple things that I did not like. Like, I don't like that he's named Kira. Makes no sense to me. Um, I would have loved to see an Asian person in the lead role here. That's just me. But since, they, you know, they're trying to be different from the original, I can understand them casting somebody else in the lead role. A white guy, fine. You want to differentiate yourself from the original? You don't want to cast an Asian? Okay. I'll roll with it. Just be good. Because if you suck, you're going to make me look like a fucking idiot. All right, so those are my thoughts on the... Death Note teaser trailer. Um, I'm actually looking forward to it, surprisingly. I would love to know what you guys thought of it, if you have seen it. If you have not, I'll put a link in the description. You guys can watch it for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video and it wasn't too rambly. I know I can go off the hinges when it comes to my videos and just ramble constantly, like what I'm doing right now. And yeah, do let me know. Stay tuned. I probably might have another video coming out today if I can get it done. And tonight... At 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be over on my friend's Media Madness channel. And we're going to be talking all things Iron Fist if you'd like to join us. So until those videos come, guys, if you'd like to see more videos of this channel, be a part of the Black Critic Crew, please hit that subscribe button below. Like this video if you really enjoyed it. And I'm Tony Wallace II, the Black Critic Guy. Till then, peace, YouTube. <laughs>